Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 60 of Europa Universalis 4 as what was originally Malwa, but we are now Barat. We are just about to declare another war on Vijayanagar in order to take as much of their land as possible. And then once we finish with that war and have a truce with them, we're going to declare war on Netherlands, who have a single province down here. They are actually being guaranteed by Vijayanagar, and that will bring Vijayanagar in, and we can take some more stuff from Vijayanagar. Uh, they're also allied with Bremen, but I don't really see us having too many issues um, with any of that. You never know. We'll definitely have to keep our eye on it. Just waiting for these guys to get up to full morale. In fact, they're as close as they're going to be. We don't have a spare diplomat at the moment. You're building up relations with our own guys, which is fine. Let's bring you back. You'll be one of the quickest to return anyway. We're actually improving relations with the Netherlands. Don't bother doing that too much because we're about to declare war on them shortly. Uh, invest in a new idea, that would be 20% um, siege ability is nice. Um, we are only a five, we are only one year ahead of time. We are getting a tech penalty. But that siege ability, I mean, we don't need the siege ability, I don't suppose. So we're probably better off waiting for the tech. Although, Land force limit modifier, the discipline is nice. Let's let's keep working on it as much as we can. Do we have a level three um uh, uh words? Do we have a yeah, level threes across the board and a fairly even split on points? Yeah, I think that's a decent decent focus to be at. Uh reduce national unrest or gain legitimacy. Uh eh, we'll gain the legitimacy. I'm not bothered about the reduced national unrest. I think we're doing fine. Uh, let's go and declare war. Um, I don't really care what we declare this war for, to be honest. I know we do have claims on some of the... Well, we have obviously we have claims on all of them, so it doesn't matter. Um, let's go for Golconda, just because it's, it's the closest one to us. So, we'll declare our war. We will start moving in with our um, armies. We do need to keep our eye open for where their armies are, because I have no clue. Uh, they're going to send their fleets out. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't really uh, anticipate any big problems. There's their army. Looks like all they've got is a 22 stack. Uh, we do have this 30 stack down here that we can actually use. Um, let's just take the admin here. Uh, we control both sides of the crossing here, so they can't blockade us, so that's fine. I just want to make sure that that army doesn't try and give me the slip and get past me. It's often what they try and do. But we'll go in and, and we'll we'll do a little bit of like just annoying them from, from this side as well. I think we'll be fine, to be honest. And let's just have someone go down here and instantly start grabbing as many of these forts as we can. And you're going to come in and start grabbing some of these provinces uh, here in the south. Looks like you're going to go and try and go around in that direction. Uh, I see you and I'm ready for you. Yep, that's exactly what I was expecting you to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move in over here. Will you still come in and try and grab me? You are not attempting to. You're actually backing off. Uh, let's go and put Afro in this army and we can't catch you we can't catch you but what if we force march we force march we can catch you you are trying to reinforce that army a little bit that is fine i don't have a problem with that at all i think the jane are the only people involved on the opposite side they are so that's not too bad we did actually take a uh, we've got a terrain penalty there um but we should win that battle nice and easily they are trying to throw those e that extra stack in. Um, yeah, we won, we won that fight good. Let's go and take that four stack out if we can. Kosh are going to come in and help from the north. We've grabbed that already. We can go straight into their capital now. Grab some more stuff down here. There's the four stack gone. Yeah, it shouldn't be very difficult at all taking these guys out now. I know I could split these guys up and just carpet siege and it'd be it'd be a lot quicker, but I just I don't feel the need to. Well yeah, actually let's do it. It's not like they have any huge armies left. So let's go and do it that way. 
We've got their capital already. So let's do that and that. You can move up here. Kosh are going to be sieging some of it for us as well. Try and keep the armies relatively close together so I don't get them all sort of mixed up. Uh, you guys move into that. Well, I'll go and grab that, I suppose. This one is a fort, so it will take a little bit longer. Uh, we can pick um, an extra diplomatic relation. We are still behind on diplo. We're behind on all techs now, actually. So I might just leave that for now. Now, there is a 20 stack marching around there again. So we do have to be mindful of that. No, I don't want to run into that 20 stack with a 15 stack. Especially as we don't actually have a leader there. Um, let's go ahead and put you guys together in here. Might be able to catch that 20 stack out. Depends what they're going to try and do. So a few units moving around. You're going to grab that one. You move down to there. You're going to grab that. You're kind of pinned down there. If you want, you are. You're going to. You're going to try and come back up again on on this coast. I'm fully prepared for that. Let's move you up here. Hopefully, you're not just going to turn around and come back and try and and take me out. It looks like you might. I'm guessing you can't get down there. No, you can't. Can you move to there? No, you can't. You are movement locked, unfortunately, which is a little bit of a problem. No, we have. We I've, I've, I have managed to successfully turn around, so that is fine. And why don't you move down there and you move into there? I know we don't have a general, so sieging is going to be a little bit pointless, but. Um, I'm going to assume you're going to come in and siege this. Let's start moving down with the rest of Afro's army because we will want to block them on this coast where we can. This should actually go quite quickly. I mean, we really are just taking massive chunks out of these guys right now. Uh, you want to move in. Let's actually wait until your movement locked. They're, they're getting smaller and smaller. I suspect it's because they don't have the funds to maintain such a large army anymore. I think we've just killed their economy, basically. So, we should take their main army out now. Yep, you're not going to get away. Not even going to zoom in on that. We did get a terrain penalty, but yep, we actually stat wiped them. So, let's move in and grab that province there. Um, this is actually falling surprisingly quickly, considering that we don't even have a, a general there. Uh, it's only a level one... F uh, what level four is it? Four. It's level four, four. Actually, it is going down quicker than I would have thought. Um, let's keep you guys together. You guys are done up here, so let's move you down. Yeah, their war, uh, their war enthusiasm is already really low. We've already got most of them sieged out. Uh, I, I would like to get rid of most of the overextension before we do this. A lot of it, actually, it'll all be gone. Yeah, another month or two and the, all the overextension is going to be gone. So I don't even have to worry about that anymore. Group you guys back up. We've still got manpower, so that's good. Uh, there's a 10 stack marching around down here that I don't particularly like, but can't really do too much about it. Uh, let's just move back over here with this army a little bit. More sieges completing. Your oh no, not you. They're producing units in some of these provinces. Let's go over there and oh dear, I'm making a right mess of this now. Let's go into Mysore. Just trying to stop them from producing any extra units. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. In fact, every single one of their provinces is now either currently occupied or sieged. Uh, what's got, what, what have we got going on here? Oh, cores. Okay. That's the coring done. So we have no overextension anymore. 
so you still have an army down there. And you're going across into Ceylon, which is great, because now you're cornered. So that is going to be a big stat wipe coming up. And I'm just going to move everybody else kind of out of the way. And get them ready for taking out the Netherlands. Now I don't want to I don't want to remove their border with the Netherlands because I don't want them to stop guaranteeing the Netherlands, but I will take the coastal province. Because it's the only coastal province they have left. Okay, let's move in there. You're trying to siege the fort. You don't even have enough manpower to siege the fort. So GG. So that should just be a stack white. Easily done. Excellent. So they're 100% sieged, so let's go and take what we want. So we do want to take this, because it's coastal. I'm going to take this, because it's the war goal, we might as well. Uh, we could just go, like, straight through the middle and chop them in half. Um, why not? You know, anything that makes their life more difficult. And um, how much overextension is this going to give us? That's aggressive expansion. 80% uh, is probably enough to take in one go. We don't have a huge amount of admin power. Um, but we do have claims on all of this, which is great. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take money from them where we can. 351 ducats. So there we go. That's just chopped them in half and taken away their last coastal province. Uh, our overextension is dangerously high. So um, do you actually have enough admin power to, to start coring it all? Which is which is really good. So now we have a truce with um, Vajainagar. But Vajainagar at this point have no um, army. They're absolutely and utterly defeated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm instantly going to go and declare war on the Netherlands. Now this will bring in Bavaria. Um, because they're actually part of the Empire. Uh, we can bring the Commonwealth in, actually. Let's bring the Commonwealth in. Um, we're not bothered about Bremen. Uh, Dutch Columbia will come in. So we're going to go and confirm there. Um... I didn't select the what I was doing it for, actually. Uh, this is... Oh, it is the Conquest of Calicut. Good. Excellent. So, let's move back in. Um, did Vajainagar not agree to come in on that war? They did not. I missed it. Did they stop guaranteeing them? They did stop guaranteeing them, but they are... St oh, that's a shame. Well, that's fine. They are still guaranteeing the independent of Bermanis, which means we can jump in on Bermanis later. I only want this one province from the Netherlands, so providing they're willing to give me that, we can just peace out here. There's no problem. Uh, this is Moravi. Uh, we do need to take this province also. Moravi is allied with Luba, Bugunda, and Daviet. Daviet is over here somewhere. Um here very small nation uh the other two i'm guessing are provinces oh there's burgunda um what was the other one um burgunda and luba um which are almost certainly going to be over here oh there's luba Again, I mean, this is Mavari here, but I only want the one province from them. So as long as they're willing to give me that one province, we don't really have an issue. So, you know, I could end up getting... Let's just do it. Well, we don't have a diplomat free at the moment. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should wait. Maybe we should do one at a time and not, not be really greedy. We do have that province siege now. Hopefully the Commonwealth will give them a good enough of a kicking that I don't really need to get involved. That's kind of my plan. You go and do some drilling. Get our army professionalism up. So how are things going with the Commonwealth? Well, the Commonwealth... Let's actually have a look at the ledger. Uh, that's the main menu. Let's look at the ledger. There we go. Uh, military. Um, army quality comparison. War enemies. Um... So this is like the, well, we just want army size really, don't we? Not army quality. Armies, there we go. So the Commonwealth has 247,000. 
Uh, we have 240,000. Austria actually has a fair few. Um, are Austria still busy in their war with France? They are not. Still, I think the Commonwealth has probably got this. Now, admittedly, the Netherlands is very far away. But as long as we get some positive war... Wow, that is a massive army there. A 73 stack from um, what is essentially the Empire. Uh, it looks like the Commonwealth is winning. Wow, here comes another 70 stack from the Empire. There is a 50 stack coming in from the Commonwealth. I'm not sure if they're going to get there quick enough. Uh, they did. They just managed to uh, to win that one. Uh, the Commonwealth stack is now engaging that other 60 stack from the Empire. So that will be another battle. Uh, lose 10 prestige, get a skill 3 Diplo Rep Advisor 50% cheaper. No, we'll just take that one. No, we're not, I'm not looking at changing my advisors right now. So that was another big win. Um, looks like they've just hired a load of troops over here. Um, can't tell uh, whether they are mercenaries or not. There's another battle, the winning. Good. They're actually gaining war score for me. That's what we want. There's nothing worse than when your allies go to war for you and just lose lots of battles and cost you war score. So as long as they continue to win these fights and gain war score for me, that's fine. We do have the war goal occupied, so as a result of that, we will... Um, as a result of having the war goal occupied, we will gain uh, ticking war score. Now, there is a 61 stack of uh, Austria. Oh, no, they were going to attack them there, but decided not to. I'm not sure why they'd give that up. I mean, this is defensive terrain for Austria. It's mountains with a fort. So that means Austria would have been the defenders attacking that 30 stack. Mind you, there's another 37k stack there with a 4642 general. Uh, and there's also a 44 stack here with a 4362 general. So, hardly surprising. Now, they are attacking. Uh, they're locked. And I think these guys are going into reinforce. Uh, you guys are forced marching. So, you might get there in time. Can't actually see the battle going on. Uh, and yes, uh, the Austrian army broke. Now, this one's a little bit worrying. Right, this might be the first one that the Commonwealth actually loses here. Because that was a huge stack. Yeah, the Commonwealth did lose a fight there. But we are up to 6% at this point. So that is very good for us. Bavaria has been elected the um, leader again. Right, once again you are attacking the Commonwealth army in the mountains. Austria is the defender because they control the fort. Um, the Commonwealth have managed to throw some reinforcements in. Um, it looks like it is going to go the way of the Commonwealth. Just. Don't think any of these other reinforcements are going to get there quickly enough. Excellent. So that was another battle won. Uh, it looks like there's a one stack here that's just going to go and get insta-squished. There's a 63k stack coming in with forced march on. Uh, make that 80k because there's another 16 there. Not too sure what all of the other Commonwealth armies are doing. I do wish you could give a little bit more direction um, to these armies. We are at 8% though and we're still getting ticking war scores so we might be okay. Right, Delian Separatists is a potential problem. Um, I guess we just wait for them to pop because we're going to have quite a lot of unrest around Delhi anyway so... Let's just wait for something to happen. We're at 8% war score. As soon as we get to 10%, we can actually um, ask for something. So if, if, if the Netherlands will happily give us that province on 10% war score, then we're good. And that'll be the job done. Looks like the Commonwealth are trying to regroup. Was unfortunate for them. They did take a rather big kicking on that particular... Um, fight what are we like in terms of force limit uh because we have a lot of manpower uh oh we're woefully under our force limit at this point uh let's go back and um and do something about that so let's go ahead and get some more stacks here we've got the money to do it 
Uh, let's just grab one stack at a time so we don't instantly tank our economy. Now, it looks like... Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. Commonwealth have lost a fort there. So we are losing some war score. There have been a couple of lost battles, actually. There's a lot of people in on that side. Come on, though, Commonwealth. You can do this. We can still make another 20 war score from controlling the war goal. So that is fine. The other problem with the Commonwealth is with it being such a big nation, um, you know, their troops tend to shatter across the other side of the world. They also appear to be up here dealing with flipping Swedish separatists rather than fighting the war, which is a little bit annoying. Looks like there's a naval battle up there that the Commonwealth should win. It's a very slow naval battle. Commonwealth has three transports. Fighting against Mecklenburg's two lights and one galley. Yet somehow the transports seem to be holding their own. Um, admin power or either give us reinforced speed. Let's uh, Reinforced speed is probably useful, although we're not the ones directly fighting at the moment. We are kind of hoping that the Commonwealth sort this problem out for us. Um, but yeah, come on, Commonwealth. You really do... Look at the size of you. You really need to get down here and start dealing with this. Uh, it is quite possible that somebody else may declare a war on the... Um, on the Empire. But yeah, there's there's most of the Commonwealth's army. Look, they've got a, a... I mean, I guess I could go over here and help. I'm not actually sure I could get there. It'd probably take me forever, to be honest. It's a long, a long march. I mean, technically, if the Commonwealth peace out, I would actually gain war score. Uh, so the Commonwealth could peace out, I would gain war score, and that would probably be enough for me to take what I need. Um, there's a small battle going up there with the Netherlands troops. There is a terrain penalty on the Commonwealth, but that should be a victory over there. So we're back up to 6%. They did manage to throw some reinforcements in, but I don't think that's a huge help. Our truce with Transoxiania has ended. I don't think they're going to declare war on me, but you never know. Uh, we can invest in an idea, which would be influence ideas. Again, I think I still want to wait and try and get the tech where possible. Commonwealth are getting a lot of stuff sieged out. You need to stop worrying about your flipping rebels and get your armies over to the to the mainland, really. Anyway, we'll conclude this in another video because we are over the 20 minute mark. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I will see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.